If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll actually now get a 10% discount for the rest of FIFA 14. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to another episode of the FIFA 15 Player Predictions. Today we'll be looking at Liverpool FC, of course, as you can see from the thumbnail on your screen. We've got Daniel Sturridge, Raheem Sterling and Felipe Coutinho as well. Of course, as always, do stress this is purely opinion based and uh, it's not anywhere near uh, what the final ratings will be on FIFA 15 and also do bear in mind that it is an opinion so uh, if you have a differing opinion that's completely fine everyone is allowed an opinion don't keep calling each other fucking cunts in the comment section because someone has a different opinion to you be mature about it but anyway let's jump in and first of all we'll have a look at Daniel Sturridge and as you can see I've given him the 82 overall rating that he had on, uh, on FIFA 14 is his upgraded card, although he could quite possibly have an 83 or an 84 rated card, considering how good a season he had last year. I've dropped his pace by one. I'm not really too sure what his pace will be. It could drop to, say, 88, or it could quite, he's quite possibly go up to 91. He's just around about there, so uh, I just dropped it by one, just because uh, I feel he's not as lightning quick as 90 pace, but still, he's pretty fast, so uh, 89 is pretty all right. Uh, plus one shot, although that could quite possibly go up by two, considering the amount of goals he scored last season but he's passing up as well considering uh, when he was playing alongside Luis Suarez he tended to pass the ball a lot more than uh, normally than he normally does he is stereotypically a rather selfish and uh, ball greedy player although he has started to uh, to his credit to uh, to pass the ball a little bit more try and perhaps pick himself up some assists I've upped his dribbling as well because his touch has really improved since he's been at Liverpool and his defending has dropped Y1 considering he doesn't really track back and uh, and help out defensively at all so uh, I don't think he deserves uh, a higher defensive rating but physical 73 because he's quite strong but not necessarily brilliant in the air and his jumping isn't that good but his balance and agility are pretty decent so we're giving him 73 physical and uh, that's Daniel Sturridge let's move on to Raheem Sterling and the first thing you'll notice is that he's been moved to a cam from a right wing. I, uh, I've kind of put him in that central role because that's where he, I feel that he plays best and he'd be better suited for FIFA. Of course, bear in mind, if he had been a right-sided midfielder card, he would have been over 80 overall. Most definitely over 80 overall if he'd been out wide as a winger because he's had a sensational season last year. Started well this year as well, but not necessarily uh, more suited overall rating wise to the cam slot but I still feel he's more uh, suited to that role again dropped his pace by one similar to Sterling uh, similar to Sturridge rather although could quite possibly go up or down uh, just what I've done to it a uh, shot up by nine because he has drastically improved his finishing the season before last he was uh, just breaking through into the Liverpool side and his finishing was woeful it was the one side of his game that was missing and he's really really improved there I'm particularly pleased for him and for England, the national side, to see his finishing really improve. And, uh, of course, passing and dribbling up one as well. Defending, again, similar uh, similar situation to Daniel Sturridge. Doesn't really tend to drop back and help out defensively, so I've dropped his defending stats. But, like I say, bear in mind, if he was a right wing card, he would definitely be 80 or 81 at least. But uh, I've dropped him to a 79 because, whilst I feel he's more effective at Cam, he doesn't necessarily have the passing stats to go hand-in-hand -hand with a Cam roll, which is why I've only given him 70. But had he been a right winger, he probably will be about 80, 81. I'm not sure where he's going to be on uh, on FIFA 15. I'm not. You would presume that they'll probably keep him at right wing, but I've decided to move him to camp for uh, I don't know. Just felt like it. But anyway, let's move on to the third and final player, which is Philippe Coutinho. And the first thing that jumps at you there, or jumps out at you there, is the fact that I've upped him from 80 to 81 overall because uh, he had a very, very good season last year for Liverpool and uh, was involved in a lot of the uh, of the creative stuff going forward, which is the reason why his passing has gone up. One doesn't score too many goals, and I don't think his shooting uh, deserves to be as high as it was, so I dropped that by one. His pace again, Coutinho really doesn't seem to be that fast to me. I, it may just be, um, you know, the way I'm watching it on TV and in in the flesh, he does seem a little bit faster. But watching him on on TV. Is He's quick with the ball, but not necessarily quick all round. You know, it's it's kind of deceptive when someone is is fast with the ball. It gives the uh, the impression that they're they're even faster without the ball. They feel like they're uh, they you know they're running at pace. But I think his dribbling is uh, is going to be about the same, 88 rated, and uh, of course. As you can see, shots gone down by one, and he's defending gone down by one again. Kind of Sturridge, uh, Sterling, and Coutinho all kind of 
they're really very much attacking minded and they leave the defending to uh, to you know to Stephen Gerrard and to Jordan Henderson etc maybe even Joe Allen or Lucas Lever if they're playing as well so uh, I've dropped their defending on all three cards actually but uh, yeah that's going to round out today's uh, episode of FIFA 15 player predictions of course I'm uh, prepared for the onslaught of your bias chairs you just downgrade people because you don't like them in the comments which is completely unfair and untrue it's just an honest opinion as to what I think is going to happen to certain players by all means feel free to let me know what your opinions are in the comments but please for the sake of god just be nice just be rational and don't just throw personal insults around because it's not the way i want or it's not what i want to see in my comment section if you are just downright abusive i'll just block you and remove you from the channel it's fairly simple as that i want my channel to be a friendly and nice place for people to come and enjoy watching videos and have some mature and decent discussion in the comments but anyway that's going to bring today's episode to a close thank you very much for watching of course let me know in the comments what sort of teams you would like to like me to look at for next week i've got my Manchester City coming tomorrow, so we've done four BPL sides now, uh, or we will have by the time we get tomorrow out of the way, so uh, let me know any teams you want me to have a look at, but for now, that's all from today, thank you very much for watching, check the channel page for anything you may have missed, drop the video a like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.